All people are being tricked by ads all the time. All ads never display a pixel line or fine line text to hide their technical shortcomings, truth of eye strain that you never know. For decades subpixel products have always used imitation color subpixel array technology to glare and blur our focus causing vision problems for countless people. Engineers always say that solid color pixels are impossible. After almost 10 tiers research, In the past few decades, some people have been misleading you. The pixel color that people see from the RGB subpixel screen is the addition color method to synthesize the subpixel color. Some people tell you that because the RGB subpixel is very close, you will only see the color of one pixel because you can't see the color of the subpixel clearly. Others tell you that brighter subpixels can make the screen produce more realistic color pixels. There is a loophole in these statements that has deceived people for decades. What kind of special abilities do our eyes possess? Can it be possible to know that from a bunch of subpixels, those subpixels should be synthesized into a complete pixel without mistakenly confusing adjacent subpixels? Brighter subpixels only use glare to confuse subpixels with adjacent ones more easily, and instead making each pixel more blurred. Early color displays were mainly used to watch movies, cartoons, and bolded letters, therefore, the subpixel technology of color imitation, a subpixel array without solid pixels, relying on glare blurring and blurring the focus of the line of sight to cooperate with the brain to interpret the color of the synthetic subpixel, can still be barely applied. With the popularization of computers, tablets, mobile phones, etc. in recent decades, the display screen has been used to read a large number of single pixel fine lines of text and lines, and display more detailed patterns. It is often necessary to display multicolor fine lines and high density lines that points up to one pixel. However, it requires a clear ability to distinguish those lines. The fuzzy imitation color subpixel array technology of the old era can no longer meet the requirements of today's high definition, solid true color, and more comfortable vision. Reluctantly, the traditional display technology that relies on blurred color mixing, the imitation color subpixel array, is used for today's needs for clearer and more solid text display. Therefore, the user is forced to lose focus to blur the subpixel colors, but will also need to focus clearly to see the lines or points clearly, which makes the focusing system overworked causing a large number of users to experience eye pain, headache, vision degradation, and other problems, which are collectively referred to as digital eye strain or computer vision syndrome. Using the research models of real color pixels and several sub-pixels, you can no longer be misled by false explanations and fantasies. It lets you clearly see how subpixel technology uses blurring to confuse the color of subpixels, not optical additive color method. Using glare blur and focus blur, even if the subpixel array is as large as a few mm or more, it can still be blurred to make your brain feel that the blurred virtual color from the red, green, and blue subpixels you see. It is not synthesized by the said close range. Due to the long-term force needed of the eyes to focus on the blurred color's pixels without a solid focus, it requires the forced blurring of vision to mess the subpixel colors, and see the colored lines synthesized by the blurred color subpixels clearly. Therefore, it will have an uncomfortable dizzy effect on the brain and cause excessive pressure on the focusing system causing a slight loss of focus. Long-term habitual out-of-focus can lead to lazy eye syndrome and vision deterioration. In addition, because the dark detail image composed of weak light must be seen from the strong glare screen at the same time, the pupil will be forced to excessively dilate abnormally, and the retina will be overworked by the strong light, which will cause damage to the eyes for a long time. The biggest difference between this kind of technology that relies on strong glare to blur subpixel color mixing is that it will always be more dazzling than the screen of real color pixel technology. This is the real main cause of the damage to your vision for decades and the digital eye strain or computer vision syndrome that has caused you to suffer. The increasingly strong subpixels can also cause screen burn in. Prevent people's eyesight from continuing to be harmed by fake color products subpixel display products must be banned. Replace with real color pixel products.